so me and Floyd, we lived on McDougal Street for quite a while. We used to see Dylan and Jimi Hendrix walking up and down the street. Jimi Hendrix was then called Jimmy James in the Jumpin' Flames. And he used to wear his hair kind of sort of like this, you know, and he had like a very thin mustache, a little bit like Chuck Berry. And um, um, now I've become friends with Dylan. And uh, I told him that, you know, I said, you know, you guys were the big guys. You were the guys who made it, you know, you were older and uh, you were like uh, the big guys. You know, you were the big men. You were the men who had record contracts. You had guitars. You had expensive guitars. You were playing all the clubs and stuff. We were just these kids who lived in the street who would just die to sit outside waiting for Muddy Waters to show up, you know, just to look at them, you know. Uh, I would never even be... Uh, I would never, I would never even ask for an autograph just to see him, you know, uh, Muddy Waters, you know, just to hear his voice, you know, and John Lee Hooker, because if I heard his voice, I used to be able to walk around talking. Imagine a 14-year-old kid trying to stutter like John Lee Hooker stutters and, and talk like that, you know, like real, like a, like a black man, you know. This was originally the original uh, was probably done by uh, Robert Johnson. I got it from, I got it when I was 14 years old, just a grasshopper, uh, from Mr. Elmore James. So it was one of the first songs that I actually learned on guitar. And uh, for some reason, I always want to end the show with this. So, anybody got, no, we don't want to burn this house down. Let's just rock this joint. Edith Piaf, if you're here with us tonight, we love you. Every downtown man's deceived 